diamond knife, uh, dynamite and stuff. Oh, okay. and then, uh, and then, see, so, so I was talking with a friend of mine, and he was saying that he had a little RC plane, but he didn't want to fly it because he was afraid of crashing it. Yeah. And that got me thinking of why don't people like to fly? Yeah. Or why are people afraid of learning how to fly? They're afraid of the financial investment they put in the airplane. They're afraid of the time investment they've put in the airplane and the emotional investment they put in the airplane. So how can we minimize every single one of these? Flight test has done a phenomenal job doing that with their foam board glider, with their foam board planes. I'm trying to take that to the extreme even further. So this is very similar to what flight test has done with that, that one episode with Walmart gliders. But it still takes you know, two hours of a little bit of messing with foam and whatnot. So what if you could go to Walmart or an RC hobby store, probably your local hobby store, shall we say, and get one of these gliders and a, and a kit. And that kit would include a backpack that would go on the back of the glider, pretty much right on the center of gravity. With battery tray, with your servos, with your motor mounts, all in one device. And the only thing you have to do is take off your control surfaces that would come in your pack, take off the double set adhesive tape on one side of the hinge, put one on one side, put one on the other side, connect your servos, and that's it. And then you can go fly it. So I've got some concept art and I've been starting some CAD work on it. Yeah. And uh, the prototypes will be 3D printed. Yeah. This motor mount here is 3D printed. Um, I left my cooling fan on right, high, so the, it's a little warped. Uh, but that's a different story. Is it throttle test? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can fix that <laughs> with a little bit of mixing in the rear. Yeah, I love that idea of just having like a, like a slap-on motor pack. Thing. Oh yeah, and the build the video. And stuff. The build video with the backpack would basically be Something here's wrong. five minutes to build your plane. And then the build uh, video would end with snapping one of the wings in half like and gluing it back together yeah. and said, there, you've had the first scratch in it, now you don't have to feel bad, now yeah, you know who yeah, did it kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the great thing about these is that if you crash them into the ground, the it's, wings it's just pop out. All the kinetic energy of the yeah. crash goes into the wings falling out. Yeah. Because that's the way it's designed that's to work as a glider, yeah, as a truck right. glider for kids. Yeah. 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 And there's the, and uh, there's nothing connecting the wings to the fuselage, so other than a bit of a friction fit. So when that does happen, you just pop them back in and go back to flying. I've also I've also done an FPV camera up here before, flying around a baseball field. Oh yeah, because you can see the entire view of you know, you're looking like this. You see the whole view of the airplane. You see the wings, the engine, and everything. And it's a great view. My hope is uh, next year, when I've got some more time to uh, work on it over the next year, I'll make maybe maybe five of those prototype kits, and I'll sell them to some people here, and maybe we can get a bunch of them in the air at once. I'd be super interested. You guys are all Plus, that would be a great thing for flight tests to you know have in the store too. You never know. That's next year cool. we'll have version three. Awesome. This is version two. What, what's your name? Ken. Ken, nice to meet you, Ken. Nice I'm meet Adam. You Adam. And you, uh, is, is it okay if I put this on my YouTube channel? Go for it. Okay, so ex expect, expect amazing things from Ken <laughs> with the Walmart glider. <laughs>